Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Crowdcast. I'm Vova, head of community at SmartCat. Today, we'll be talking about the translation marathon we are going to have the next week. Uh, anyway, before we start, I want you to know that you can chat in the chat window on the right. You can also ask your questions on the left. For some reason, I don't see any questions yet, although I think I, ha I had them before. So if you have any questions, please ask them to the left because I will not be able to follow the chat discussion during the whole time, although I will try to catch up. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to start with um, a presentation and then I will show you some live action showing how you will work during the next week. Anyway, First of all, before we go to the to the description of the of this contest we are going to have, I want to tell a few words about SmartCat because some some of you might not know what SmartCat is. So uh, SmartCat is an ecosystem that developed from a CAT tool and later included a marketplace and later included a community, the community. So as a CAT tool, it is a free cloud system that you can use in any amount um, for your own translation projects. Also, it has a marketplace where you can find customers and where customers can find you. And that's, by the way, the reason we are running this contest, this marathon, because we want to choose to elect the translators that will be placed higher in the search results when customers are looking for you. Because on SmartCat, unlike many other systems, it is not you who look for translators, but it is uh, for customers, but it is customers who look for you. And what's important, it, the marketplace is open in that we do not hide your personal data. Every customer sees what's, what your name is, um, what your experience is, and when they search for freelancers, they make a decision based on your personal profile and on your personal data. But of course, in many pairs, there is a lot of translators presented. That's why not every customer will list through all the results. That's why it makes sense to do some kind of ranking. And for this ranking, we introduced this senior translator status, which basically affects how high you are in the search ranking. Also, we are a community. Um, I forgot to add the link here, but you can visit us at any time at community.smartcat.ai. We have lots of things there, a forum and a lot of people talking about all things translation, not necessarily SmartCat, and there are really some interesting discussions there. Um, we have all kinds of translators in the marketplace, from technical to marketing to trans creators to legal, medical. Every translator can, can have their own profile and specialization defined. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next slide. Who are senior translators? Senior translators are translators who have passed a peer review process. So unlike, again, many other, many other platforms who have sort of linguistic quality assessment department who rate um, the translators present in the platform, we decided to go another way. And here you grade and review each other. So every once in a while, actually it is just the third time now, but it will be a regular process. We get together, we translate stuff, and then every translator reviews three translations done by other applicants. This way um, we know which of the applicants have uh, made a good translation. Also, we use some mathematic algorithms to make sure that any kind of fraud or, or just incompetent grading is excluded. Not necessarily excluded, but it doesn't affect your grading that much. So for instance, as an example, if you received two bad grades from translators who themselves have received bad grades and one good grade from a translator who was graded high, then that letter translator's grade will affect more. In the end, we tested it a lot and I'm pretty happy with the results. I did some reverse engineering there. Afterwards, I 
checked the results for my pair, for English to Russian pair, and I found out that at least to my own assessment, the accuracy of such approach was around 80%. Anyway, let's go on next. Um, what are the benefits of being a senior translator? You might have seen this infographic already. You can find it in the forum uh, at the link uh, that is under the green button under the video. You have a green button. If you press it, there will be some description of the process and you will be also able to find this infographic there and look it in detail. But what I want to say that for now, the, the only mechanism by which senior translators are somehow promoted is that they are placed higher in the search results. When we were just starting out, I was not sure if it would be any, if it would be effective, but before starting this next session, I made some research and here's what I found. First of all, senior translators get more job invitations. They are seven and a half times more likely to be invited to a project. So if uh, among the whole marketplace, only every 10th translator is invited to a project at all, at least in the last six weeks, because of course the number of orders is limited and the number of customers is much less than the number of translators. That's why it is not possible, at least not at the moment, for every translator to be invited. But for senior translators, the percentage is 75%. So 75%, three-thirds, uh, three-fourths of senior translators were invited to a paid project at least once. Then, if a translator was invited at least once, then usually they will receive two invitations per month. For senior translators, it is four job invitations per month. So more or less every week, a senior translator receives an invitation. To be clear, it is not about executing a job. It is about an invitation reaching your mailbox and your being able to react to it. So it doesn't mean that you will have four jobs every month, but this is what will come to your information. Next, um, senior translators are invited at better rates. So on this, let me show it with the mouse. Here on this graph, on this chart, you see the average rate across the whole marketplace. Now, um, it may be a frighten, frightening a bit for us to see that the average rate on the marketplace is just three and three cents per word. But I ask you not to uh, be too worried about it because it is just the average rate. And uh, in many cases, of course not half of cases, the invitations actually go at high rates. I will come to this on the right chart a bit later. So for senior translators, the average rate is already five cents per word, which is again, maybe not too much, but, is, but it is 50% higher than for all translators in general. And around one tenth of all translators are invited at rates exceeding seven cents per word. And for senior translators, this is 25%. So every fourth senior translator is invited to a job at a rate exceeding seven cents per word. So this is again, maybe not a fantastic rate. Many of you may have 10 or 11 cents per word, but it is um, some indication where maybe the higher degree of rates starts. But the next one, the offerings provided to senior translators are not only limited to um, being higher in the marketplace, we also have a special private group for senior translators where we exchange ideas about develop the development of SmartCat, about something interesting to be suggested to senior translators, I, for one, have already assigned a few jobs, not from SmartCat, but from myself to people who are senior translators. And the people who are already senior translators, when they have some job uh, that they cannot take on, they will be looking, I hope so, uh, among the first things they will be looking in is this private group and other senior translators, because we trust each other and we know about each other's quality. Next unique offering is the so-called SmartCat Jedi. The official name is SmartCat Pros because 
we don't want to be sued by Lucasfilms. But anyway, what it is, it's that some of senior translators get the chance to represent SmartCat in external communications. They receive a corporate branded mailbox and they can add a branded signature to their email messages and thus they can write to to clients who have registered with our, within our system they can write to them on behalf of smartcat and thus get thus get prospective clients for themselves and for us as well because we treat senior translators as almost part of our core team and finally senior translators get priority position when we have some job openings within smartcat for instance you have you just see that Otavio Banfi showed up in the chat. Uh, he was our longtime active community member. Then he became a senior translator in English to Portuguese pair. And uh, for several weeks already, he is a marketing manager with us. By the way, it's the first public announcement of Otavio's being within the Smartcat team. So you can congratulate him in the chat if you want to. I'm glad that it goes this way because I think the more translators work for SmartCat in positions not even related to translation, then the more, the more community-centric and the more profession-centric we can become. That's it. And the last but not least, even participating in this senior translator selection, even if you don't, even if you don't end up becoming a senior translator, it is fun. As you can see by the quotes provided in this infographic, people loved it regardless of the level they received. Speaking of which, there are different levels that you can receive as a senior, as an applicant. First of all, you can of course become a senior translator with all the stuff I mentioned already. Then you can also become an approved translator, which is which means quality almost enough to be a senior translator, but maybe not perfect. So if we grade on a rate of five stars, it is somewhere around uh, four and five stars. And then there is also a level called confirmed translator, which states that you have confirmed that you have skills as a translator, that you are probably a professional translator, and you also get both as an approved and as a confirmed translator, some boost to your ratings and search ranking in the marketplace. Um, but it is not as high as for a senior translator. That's it. I see some questions in the, in the chat. I cannot read through all of them, so I can ask you to put them in the, to the left in the questions and answers section so I will be able to get to them when I, when I have time. So, um, for those of, those of you who have participated in the previous round of senior translators, I want to talk about how this one will be different. Unlike the previous one, where you translated all translated different pieces of text, in this one we will be all translating the same text. And let me, by the way, open it and show it to you. It will be a book by George Herbert Betts called The Mind and Its Education. It is from the Gutenberg project, so it's in public domain. And the reason I chose it is that because it is, first of all, it is complex while being general enough. So in the previous runs, we had all kinds of specializations like medical, marketing, literary, and so on. But then I saw some inputs, heard some feedback from you. I also read Julia Thornton's wonderful post about ATA certification in our community website. And I realized that it makes sense to actually make the test general enough because we do not want to prove or to certify you as a certified medical translator, for instance. What we want to do is to make sure that you have skills as a translator, which are more or less the same in, in whatever specialization you work in. And so on. Uh, so for this, uh, when we have just one text, 
we do not have this different level of complexity for every applicant, so it's more consistent. Beside this, this text is uh, quite contemporary, so it's, it was written somewhere in the early 20th century, but it still, since it still reads well now. And last but not least, it's pretty interesting, so I hope you will like it. Um, you will get, every of you will get a small part of the text to translate. It will be around 242 to 270 words, something like this, maybe like that paragraph or maybe a bit shorter, a bit longer. You will be distributed in random order, depending on your language pairs, of course. And we will be translating this text one after one after the other. Uh, we had a question here in the chat before the before the webinar. Miriam asked if we are going to use this translation anyhow, except for the purpose of this marathon. And of course, no, we are not going to use it. We are not going to publish it to sell it anyway. It's it would be a, quite a weird idea to try to translate a text this way by giving it out to a lot of different translators who are not in a team and so no that's not what, what we are going to do but i hope that by translating the same text you would also feel a bigger sense of community and i invite you before even the um, the competition this i don't want to call it a competition let's call it a marathon because you know in a marathon there are no winners actually everyone who runs is a winner just uh, like just as here. So I invite you to study the text and to discuss things like how do you translate mind and consciousness and um, everything else in the community forums. So go ahead. Of course, during the competition, during the marathon itself, you will be kind of anonymized. So others will not see who exactly made this or that translation but that's not a big deal i think so if you have any questions feel free to ask actually during even during the marathon i invite you to act as if it was a real order so if you have a problem with translating some word what would you usually do you would go to google i don't know and grants and all kinds of other websites but you will all we would also go to forums maybe to our forum and that's what i invite you to do because I want you to feel the sense of community that we have here on SmartCat. We have a lot of great guys moderating the forums and we don't have any holy wars there. It's all very positive and no one will scorn you for asking a stupid question because there are no stupid questions. And I hope you will enjoy it just as much as you will enjoy the marathon itself. So, Let me see what I was going to talk about next. Then the other difference, big difference against the previous run will be that we will only have one week to do this. Actually, it will start the next week. On Monday, you will be translating. On Tuesday to Thursday, you will be reviewing others' translations. And on Friday, I will be announcing the results. Of course, we all know that things not always go as planned. That's why we are leaving a bit of a caveat to be able to prolong it in some emergency cases but in general uh, we will not have the chance you know to babysit every specific case so for instance if you do not listen or read attentively the rules which i will upload before the before the marathon starts and you do not understand some part that was already clearly explained that i i cannot promise that i will be able to answer to you personally but you will always be able to ask this on the forums and uh, others who have read this will answer you, hopefully. That's it. So now I think we can go to the process itself. And let me maybe first go to the questions and before I will show you the process. Peter Wilhelmsen asks, what happens if less than 10 translators sign up for a language pair? Yeah, we are lacking many language pairs in senior translators. Um, there are two sides to this question. First of all, if it is a very rare language pair, for instance, in the, in the community website, someone asked me about the Somali um, language pair. In this case, 
I checked that we have we barely have uh, 10 20 translators in despair in our database so in this case you could participate but you would not get much benefit from being a senior translator there apart from the non material benefits I mean because everyone will see your profile anyway for more popular language pairs that do not um, do not succeed in reaching the necessary amount of people for instance I don't know it was the case last time with Polish Dutch Norwegian where we had like five or six people who signed up uh, first of all I ask you I kindly ask you to uh, disseminate the word among your friends among your local forums and so on and uh, by the way you can also use your referral link that you can also find how to create on the forum it is called wave if you search the forum for wave you will find um, how, how to create your referral link so in this case you will also get a benefit as someone who invites users to smart Care. but I also had this idea that if there is not enough translators then we can do as follows uh, we can give you um, the opportunity to translate so for instance there is three Dutch translators who showed up you will translate and this translation will be left kept in the account then maybe not right away but a couple of weeks after the marathon ends we will start inviting more people and it will not it's just an idea it might not be uh, like it is like one off event it might become a continuous event that new people uh, submit their application they are invited to translate then they are invited to review if you wish in that case I will also invite you to the project and I will also send you a follow-up email saying that alas there is not enough translators in your pair but if you wish you can translate it now that's how it will be done I hope this answers the question let me see if there are any other continued discussion on this sorry I think there is too too much discussion in the forum so if I haven't asked some part of your answered some part of your question ask it also in once again and I will get to it one once more Natalie asks can a beginner take up the challenge sure why not I mean a beginner can can be a great translator or even if you are not you will get very valuable feedback from more experienced translators I had a lot of feedback from beginning translators who did not pass but they still thanked me and thanked everyone who participated because they thought that the advice they received was very valuable so yeah sure go ahead yeah Douglas Marshall asks my translation work is Russian to English yes this test doesn't apply to you for this time we just did it for simplicity and to make it quicker if uh, the this idea with having a blitz a marathon um, a marathon translation program works well we will of course widen it to include pairs to English and pairs between any other languages this time it, it just was a bit simpler to organize it this way but anyway a lot of things that I will say now will apply later so hopefully you will find it useful as well Peter also asks you mentioned talking to fellow translators in the forum but there are not designated groups for every language pair represented in this market platform will this change in the future actually um, ju just today um, a guy from Macedonia have has created a group for Macedonian translators you can do this also for your own pair although usually we have these you know forum threads we also have on the forum a section that is called groups and one type of groups is collaborations the other one being private teams for specific projects but in the collaborations you can just click add new group it will need approval from me but in any case you can start a new group call it Norwegian translators 
invite people there and I will of course help you invite people there too. For this is what Dimitri, uh, I don't know if Dimitri is with us now in, in this webinar, he has created this group. I have created a Macedonian forum inside it and Dimitri will be inviting his fellow translators. And you see, he also wrote in his native language. I think that in such groups, we can try it out uh, talking in our native languages because it is specifically intended for, in this case, for Macedonian translators or in your case for, I think it's Norwegian, I'm not sure, anyway. So the community website allows you to do a lot of things on your own, of course, with my help, but I am very open to any new initiatives. I actually crave them. So next one, if a translator, if a rental fails marathon, whether SmartCat lowers his rating in search results for customers or not. Not really because it is, without this increase, you will anyway be um, below the guys who finished as senior or approved translators. So you, you will just stay where you are. We will not lower your rating. The passage for the identical pair is going to be the same. No, it's not going to be the same. The passage will be different. So for instance, let me find this text once again. If you translate this part, then the next translator will translate this part and so on and so forth. And yes, as you said, uh, the review process is in general time consuming, but that is why now, this is why you also get what you take. So you get reviews from others and you get to review others. To do three reviews, to do one review per day is not such a um, time consuming process. I will uh, a bit later show you how to do this review process. So to be clear, you will not need to edit the text. You will not need to uh, change it to make it perfect or something. I will show it just a bit later. Yeah, uh, Peter also says that having senior translator status within a small language pair matters. Yes, um, it does matter and not only because, because of the reason you wrote that it will grow in future, but also because you get the chance to become a smart cat pro and all these kinds of things. But uh, just as this system is organized with the peer review, it's just impossible for us to make a reliable peer review of three translators, you know, because we do not want to get into this matter because, you know, I consider myself a, a de decent uh, English to Russian translator and I could have just said, okay, in, in the English to Russian pair, I will review all the guys and in the English to Portuguese pair, I will let Otavio review all the guys and so on and so forth. But this way we will be, we would be centralizing the process and we do not want to be a central authority or something. We want to be an ecosystem. That's why we need this approach where everyone reviews everyone. But as I said, uh, I think that to find 10 translators in even the most rare pair is not an impossible process. And if you agree to this approach where you will be translating now to get um, to continue afterwards, so not during this week, but maybe later then, I think during several weeks we will be able to find enough translators in any given pair with your help and with our own help. No, because in many cases, the people who are in our database are for some reason, I really don't know why, uh, not too responsive, um, maybe wary, I don't know. They do not um, respond to every email I write. And if it is you who can text them, not these, uh, these exact people, but some, some, someone, then they will be more open to this idea because who I am, I am a guy from some smart kid from some corporation that wants something from them, maybe sell their translator, translations for money later. So the level of trust to a fellow translator, even though I am a fellow translator as well, but the level of trust to you will be much more than it will be for me. Uh, Gabriela asks, can we see a list of language pairs that already, um, that already meet the requirement for minimum 10 translators? Not at the moment because I do not, do not watch this in real time. I have these applications that you, uh, have submitted, by the way, 
to submit your application, you have to click this green button, which will bring you, you can, not, you can keep it here, so it will bring you to this page where you have to click confirm. If you do not see the confirm button here, it means that you are not signed up with the forum, in which case you will have to sign up. Um, the credentials are different from the ones you use in SmartCat. That's why I make sure to register with the community website itself. Um, I don't know. You see, in the previous runs, I had these applications that include tons of messages, uh, like what language pairs do you translate in, what marketplace profile do you have. Now I will download this list automatically. I will see your emails, and from this I will correlate them with your with your SmartCat emails. For which reasons? For which reason? It's very important that you have the same email on SmartCat and in the community. If it is not so, then write to me and I will change one of them. Actually, no, do not write to me. You can change it themselves in the um, frequently asked questions section that you can also find on the forum. There is um, an instruction how to change your community email. You can do that yourself. And also, uh, I think someone asked, someone asked, is it, is it, uh, Is it a requirement to translate to your own native language? Yes, it is a requirement. I'll explain why. Because last time we had uh, Russian to English included in the list of pairs. And I think apart from three or five people, everyone else was a Russian speaker. And um, I, I'm not, I don't want to make claims that um, you cannot translate well to to a language that you are not native in. I do that all the time, although I cannot judge if it's well or not. But when you have a lot of people, all of whom are non-native speakers, then the quality of reviews degrades. And I, last time I, I made a voluntary decision to not to accept the results in the Russian to English pair because I saw that in a lot of cases when people were giving good reviews, there were actually not good, let's say so. So while we might change this in future, now we stick to this rule that um, you can only be a senior translator to your own native language. And this also brings me to the process. I think we have now 25 minutes left and I, I think I'd better go to the process. So before you start, of course, uh, first of all, uh, you can if you like what you heard, you need to sign up to confirm your participation in the senior blitz following this green button. Or you can find it by other ways too. Then you must have a smart cat profile. To find your smart cat profile, let's say you just sign up as a freelancer to get to your profile you need to press your name here and click my profile. The next thing you have to do, even before adding your language pairs and rates and so on, by the way, one thing I didn't mention for people who are new to SmartCat is that on SmartCat you always work under your own rates. So we do not impose some rates on you. Although uh, customers do have some capabilities to invite you under different rates, but in general, you add your rate yourself here. But what you need to do to participate in this program is to click Add Info here in the About box and choose your native language. And if you're translating to Spanish, Portuguese, or Chinese, you need to choose the dialect as well. Because last time we had, uh, we understood that translators to different dialects should be reviewing themselves separately. That's why if you, for instance, translate to Portuguese, if you choose Brazil or Portugal, the same for Spanish. Although for Spanish, we do not distinguish between the different uh, Latin American dialects. So Argentina and Mexico will be the same. I think we will anyway do this as Argentina because it goes first in the alphabet, I don't know, or Spain. If you fail to do this, if you just choose Spanish or Portuguese, we will assign you to the respectively Spain or Portugal, just because we must choose something. 
And the same for Chinese. I think for Chinese, there is not even an option to choose just Chinese. So you need to choose your dialect. Again, we will not distinguish between Hong Kong and Taiwan. We will treat them all as traditional Chinese. We also do not distinguish between different uh, varieties of French. I don't know, and maybe other languages, I don't know, German and so on. Mm, that's the first thing you need to do. After you did this, you are good to go and good to participate in this um, marathon. So when Monday comes, what I will actually do is I will correlate your applications with your marketplace profiles and I will invite you to the respective pair from English to your native language indicated in your profile. When I invite you, you will receive a message that will look like, I find it, I opened a lot of boxes here. Okay, like this. It includes a lot of information that is superfluous to you. Uh, what it means, what you must know, what you have to know, is that you will be invited to join the team. Ah, although no, one second, not completely correct. Let me find, let me do this live. So here, uh, how it looks from my side. So for instance, I'm assigning you now. Here's this. This will all be done automatically. I will not have to click this all by myself. Luckily, or the last time I did have to do it. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't find it now. Just one second. Okay, I will click it here. Okay. I have been added to corporate account. You will also be added, but you will not see this exact email. When I invite you, let me refresh this page. Nope, still not here. Sorry, guys. Second. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry for this little technical issue. I was just confused a bit. Let's try once again. When I will be inviting you, you will not be invited by your own name. Instead, you will be invited to where it is. Okay, by a name applicant, name of language, some number. This is, will be your number to ensure this kind of anonymity. So when you are invited, you will get, you will get this email in your mailbox. Okay, you will receive an email that will say task received in SmartCAD Senior Translators. And it will address you by this strange, weird name, hello applicant, language name, blah, blah, blah. You have received the task in the project, this, and it will list the document. So you will have to click this button and you, will <laughs> sorry. Copy link address. You see, uh, when you next time you log on, you will also have your personal account as usual, and you will also have a SmartCAD Senior Translators account where you will be doing this test. If you're located in Asia or America, then your personal account might be located in Asia or America, but the SmartCAD Senior Translators account will always be located in Europe. 
because it's where it is located. So when you open it, when you open the invitation and you open this account, you will get to this document. Uh, make sure that you open that document because sometimes you will see a sample project pop up and you do not need this. You need this um, sample, or you need this, the mind and its education document. If you want, you can go through the tutorial that will tell you how to work in SmartCAD, but it's, it's really easy. So you will have a certain number of segments assigned to you. In my case, I did not split it between uh, different Assignments. Of course, in your case, you will only be assigned a small part. Let me show you how I will do it. I will split the document. I will only assign the first few segments to you, for instance. Here's how it's usually, how it's usually done by a customer, so it might be also interesting for you to see. In this case, it's slightly more than, than the number of words I told you, but... can be different. You can also calculate by word count, let's see. 140 words. Okay. So now I signed only a part of the of the text to you, just as, as it will be done in real life. Now we refer the, refresh the page. So you see that you have some segments assigned to you. <laughs> Here I told you about the sample project. You do not need this. You just have to click skip. Let me try once again. There's too many tabs for me. For some reason, it didn't save the assignment. Let's try once again. Uh, I didn't click save assignments, okay. Let's open the document once again. Sorry for, for, all, the, for all the mess here. Hopefully it, work, it will work smoother during the real job. So now hopefully we will see it. Yeah, you see, you only have the capability to edit the segments that will be assigned to you. All the other segments will be grayed out and they will also have the lock sign. You will not be able to edit them and you will not need to. So as you translate, I will just write some gibberish here now. The status bar will be changing, but the status bar due to system specifics it will not be showing how much you have translated it'll be it will be just showing the overall progress of translation in that language pair so don't just don't pay attention to the status bar and just see which segments you have translated and always confirm the segments you are working on because otherwise i will not see them as completed so once you translate every segment you click control enter or command enter or just this button if you prefer working with the mouse See, it's not that much of text. Once you translate it during the first 24 hours of the competition, basically you are done with the translation assignment. What happens next is that 24 hours after this, you will receive an email from me. Uh, I will not show it now, uh, just explain how it will look. It will tell you which segments you have to review. So for instance, it can tell you to review segments 33 to 45. Then you go to this segment and you read the original and the translation. 
you will not be able to edit it. It's done on purpose because if several people edit the same part, you will never know which of it is done by the original translator. Of course, you will, you will be able to know it in the revisions tab, but not everyone will look there. So we just made it simpler that you will not be able to edit it, but you will be able to add commands. And this is how it will be done. You just go to the commands to segment, make sure that it is commands to segments, not commands to document, because commands to document are, are to the document, not to the segment, not to the specific segment. And you can write here something about there should be no comma after blah, 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 doesn't matter. Um, please write in English because it is not only you and the recipient who must understand it, but it is also us who must understand it just, just to know. And then you click enter. It is important that you click enter or send because otherwise your command will not be sent. And as you see, your name will be here shown as applicant Italian one, two, three, and so on. Why we need this? Because uh, you will, we will be translating to a lot of languages at the same time. And it will be technically made in the same document. And while you will not be able to see the translations in other pairs, you will be able to see the commands made in other pairs. So for instance, if someone translates to Spanish and you translate to Italian, then you will also see all the commands from the Spanish people related to the, to the translation done by the Spanish translator and so on. Besides that, by default, you will also receive email notifications for all comments. They will come, I think, once every 15 minutes. So given the number of people involved, you may receive um, quite a few notifications about new comments. You can turn them off if you wish, but then make sure to come back and check because there might be something important for you as a translator. That's it. After you complete your first review, you will also receive a link in the same email where you will be told which segments you will need to review, you will receive a link to a form and you will fill in that form indicating the part you have translated and the rate you are giving. In general, we will have a five star rating system and the, the division will be like this. Five, um, let's start from one. One is bad beyond repair. So if it's worse than machine translation, if it's so awful, it makes you your eyes bleed, then it's a one. Two means poor, but it also means that something can be done with this translation. I mean, through thorough editing, if you see at least something in that translation that indicates that the person doing it can be um, a translator, then you put a two, which means poor. Three means satisfactory. Satisfactory means that this is an okay translation, um, a lot of people do such translations. They may be too literal or they may have typos and so on. But in general, you can understand the text and uh, with some amount of editing, it can be um, made acceptable. Four is good translation, is a good translation. And good is good. It means that it really flows well. It doesn't have many typos or any typos and you enjoy it. And finally, five means excellent or perfect. It means a translation that is so good that it gives you the goosebumps, you know, that you think, wow, I wish I could translate it that way. So five is a very uh, strong, a very strong um, grade, while four is a very good grade. And so in the end, the senior translators will be the one whose averaged rate, not plain averaged, but some smart average grade will be between four and five. So you can also think of it this way. Do I want this person to be a senior translator alongside me? If yes, then think from four to five. You will be also able to give uh, fractional uh, grades like four and a half or three and a half or four and seven. Um, think of it this way. Uh, I heard some criticism about such an approach because on many platforms, what you just do is they have a grading system. For instance, one typo is one point, one uh, error in meaning is five points, and they sum up the number of points. It's the way ATA does it. So if you have, I think Julia told that ATA has 19 points that you can spare to still be certified, ATA certified. Yeah. 
so uh, we I don't want to do it this way because translation is not I don't know it's not a manual job it's not a it's not a simple job it's not bricklaying you know you cannot count the cannot grade the quality of a translation by the number of typos for instance for example I have a really bad thing with the word here you know that's H-E-R-E -E or H-E-A-R. I don't know why, but I constantly, uh, when I type, I constantly do this mistake of typing the one, one word, one of them instead of the other. And I wouldn't want, if even if I do such a type and I will understand that it is a huge mistake and so on, but I, if otherwise the translation really flows well, you may still think, hell, okay, everything happens, but I still think this guy is a great translator. He might need just to be a bit more attentive. And in this case, you might still want to give him four or five stars. So I want you to rely on your subjective impression and the real question, whether you want this person to be a senior translator alongside you. Uh, speaking of the other uh, grades, Approved translators will be the ones who will get from 3.5 to 4 stars and confirmed translators will be the ones who will get from 3 to 3.5 stars. That's it. Um, after that, after three times of the same repeated sequence, so you review, you submit a form, you get another review, you, um, you submit another form three times. Actually, it can be four times. I will explain. Because as much as I wish that everyone who submitted their application stayed with us, I know that in reality it will be different. It was a lot, it was very different last time where I think half of people who even made the translation, they just disappeared afterwards. So it was a mess for everyone because people reviewed their work, but they didn't get reviews themselves. So this time I will do this one by one. So people who do not make their first review, they will not get the chance to be reviewed the second time. That's why uh, there still can be cases when uh, some people will be left without well-deserved reviews because the ones who were meant to review them will be gone. In this case, I will ask other, um, other applicants or maybe existing senior translators to review your work. And for this reason, I, I'm saying that although in, in the general case, you will need to make three reviews. You must be ready to do four of them. So one of them you can do in case some um, applicants are missing their reviews. That's it. After four days, I will do the calculations. These will, will be really smart calculations, not because I'm smart, uh, not that I'm that smart, but because I have a system in place that involves uh, maths and mathematical analysis and matrices and no neural networks yet, but a lot of things that make me optimistic about the results of of giving the final grades. On Friday, I will tell who becomes our new translator and during maybe the next week after this, we will change your search ranking in the marketplace to get you higher, get you higher in the search ranking. That's it. Basically, that's what I wanted to tell today. Although I'm pretty sure I forgot something. I will make sure before um, the marathon starts, even tomorrow, I will, everything that I told today, I will also try to put out in, um, in the community website as an article and you will be notified about this. So you will not miss any rules. You will not have to review this video every time. Though you will be able to, it will be still here um, after the webinar ends. Um, Mohammed El Fateh, hi Mohammed, asks, what is the form of certificate when successfully passed? There is no uh, certificate as such. You will get a badge on the forum, on the community website. You might have seen them um, for, for a lot of guys already. By the way, we have 121 senior translators right now. They are all or open public, you can find who they are again on the community website. So you will get that badge. Also in a few months, when we make a, when we make a major upgrade to the platform, uh, you will also have this badge shown 
in the search results in the marketplace. So a customer looking for you, they will be able to see uh, that you are a senior translator. Uh, other forms of certificates, we are thinking about it, but as I now see the effect of senior translators, I'm pretty content with them. We will be thinking of such things, but maybe not in the nearest future. Is it only one assignment and one revision? Will I receive an email asking me to start? Uh, Mohammed, yes, as I already told, you will receive one email to start translating. Then in 24 hours, if you finished your translation, you will receive an email to review. In 24 hours more, you will receive the second email. In 24 hours more, you will receive the third email. So in general, we will receive four emails, each uh, requesting a call to action from you, either translate or review, and indicating what exactly you must review. How do you finalize a review of an applicant? Andre asks. Um, is there a button to press at the end of the review? As I said, you will uh, have to submit a form. So the end of review will be considered at the moment you submit this form. Even if you leave no comments in the, in the um, editor itself, you will have to submit the form. And by the way, this will not just be a grade, you will also have to submit a one or two paragraphs of text explaining why you gave that grade and how you would suggest that this translator improves their skills because we want this to be a, you know a collaborative action that helps each other grow that's why we expect that each reviewer gives a decent and uh, a wholehearted review and also indicating the things that might be worked upon um, anything else i think there were a lot of discussions in the chat hopefully otavio <laughs> handled them nicely as usual but if you didn't uh, receive an answer just go follow this green button and there is the comments section under the let me show it um okay we'll find it there is the comments section under the event on the community website so just ask them here or create a new topic on the forum. Somehow we will get to it and get to answer it. And also just one thing, uh, a lot of guys will be writing and already writing to me via email. Unfortunately, I have no opportunity to answer each email. I might be giving some short replies indicating which sections of the forum to look into. If my reply will sound you know, a bit short, uh, don't consider it a rudeness. It's just that I have to answer really lots of emails these days and I will become more available once this is over. So that's it. I really hope that you will be, um, that you will share this um, link, which is simple smtc at slash senior blitz with your friends, translators. The more people we get together, the more effective it gets. Uh, the more such marathons we can do in the future, because I think it's really a good initiative that will bring all the translators together and may make it really fun to participate and get some benefit at the same time. If you do not have any more questions, then thank you. And uh, till next time, see you on Monday and even before this, see you online. Thank you. Thanks for coming and bye-bye. Ta-ta.